Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to set up and use the Ryu Jinx emulator on your Windows machine, which allows you to play Nintendo Switch games. This is for Windows. I'll have a separate video covering this for Mac and Linux, and videos in the future covering how to set up different game controllers like Xbox, PS4, and obviously Joy Con and Nintendo Switch Pro controllers. So, really, let's just get down to it. So I want to give one little prerequisite warning. This video is for educational purposes. I do not condone piracy. This video is not condoning piracy. And the game that I'll be using in here, I physically own. I have a Nintendo Switch myself as well. So first of all, open your web browser. Go to reujinx.org. I'll provide a link to everything that we'll need in the description. Go to download. Go to bo -bo 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 here. And I've already got it, so I'm going to cancel it. I highly recommend that you go to compatibility and search your game. So from this new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, click on that. And this will give you the current state of it. So for this, it is considered playable. Game loads and plays at a high frame rate, which is good. The other thing that I like about doing this is I found with certain games, New Super Mario Bros. being one of them, may not work in docked mode as you can see it says handheld mode there and not docked and uh, bear with me bear with me i want to look at something sorry about that yeah everything's still looking good so yeah the reason i just did that is that that's another thing that i've actually found Sometimes the emulator, if you if you're zoomed in too much, it don't work. The actual graphics don't show. You just get audio. That's another thing to bear in mind. I found at least for me, 2560 by 1440 from beyond 175 percent zoom will not work. So check your game out. Next thing you need is a switch firmware, and let's grab it from here let's grab the latest one click the archive.org download button again i'm going to cancel it because i've already got the next two things you will need is prod dot keys you can either a rip that from your own hacked nintendo switch what i recommend is actually going to the yuzu emulator website I'm going to getting started this is alternative nintendo switch emulator and on here it shows you how to actually hack the switch and how to get the prod and title because you only need the prod keys or feel free to just google prod keys download there'll be plenty of websites showing you and as usual for more information on anything feel free to message me on discord and join the sonar systems group where people will help you next is you will need a game again you can rip your own game which is like what i've done or you can just download a game off the internet your choice and now once you've got these just go over to your download folder, right click the Ryu Jinx and go to extract all, click extract. I'm going to not do it because I've already got it right here and I've got the prod keys that I mentioned and the game in .msp. .xei works as well. The firmware which is also a zip folder file, you don't need to extract that. You can leave that as is. So open the Ryu Jinx, go to publish Go to, if you just search for R, if you press the R key, go to reujinx.exe. This will load up. Keys not found. That's fine. Go to OK. Go to File. Open Reujinx folder. System. And in there is where you want to put these product keys. Paste them here. Minimize. Close. Close the emulator down and relaunch. And you'll notice you won't actually get that error anymore boom no error next go to tools install firmware you can even install a firmware from a directory you'll get a directory if you've extracted it from your switch manually or if you downloaded it you could use this and there it is yes and you'll see this switch to whatever firmware you install. Next, go to Options, Settings, and in here you can add a game directory like so. 
for me if I go to download Chrome and if I click add when I click apply and save all the games that are in that folder will automatically get loaded you can add multiple directories as well in input you can configure your controllers up to eight so go to configure and simple you can configure a joy-con pair left right or pro controller and if i just do the pair you can add a profile like so you can load a different profile the benefit of that is you can have different configurations for different games and or different controllers to map a key just click it and press something else if i press f it assigns f like so so i'm going to you know just reset it back to just re reload it back up and that's really it you can enable motion controllers and you can change all of that stuff up and feel free to you know experiment with all of this and now once you've done that click save in system I recommend that you change the system region to wherever you are for me it's Europe system language for me it's British English and to change the system time zone get rid of UTC and there it is for me I'm in the UK so I'll just go to GMT 00 any of the zero zeros is fine for me uh, I don't want that one though GMT there we go and that time is more than fine your update once I click apply, say apply and save make sure these three are checked in graphics make sure enable shader cache is checked for anisotropic filtering just enable auto you can go up to 16 times we don't have the craziest impact but auto is fine anisotropic filtering basically on in games when you are looking at an obscure angle like to the left or right certain textures and a certain angle can get a bit distorted and blurry this fixes that you can change the resolution scale and go from native 2x 3x or 4x which is pretty darn high you know even beyond 4k because this is the 4k res and you can change aspect ratio i recommend leaving it as default and some games don't work properly if you change it click apply save and the games appear that we've just you know added the game directory for next if you want to always launch it in full screen you just click that and you can also go to options enter full screen at any time you can click escape to get out of full screen at any time and in file if you go to load application from file you can directly load a game from there so if i just double click this one second you can also you know manage updates dlc so feel free to do all of that stuff the user save stuff as well obviously there's no save for it at the moment but if i double click it it'll launch up the game and because i am also recording the screen at the same time it's gonna take a little bit of time for you know this to load up just be patient basically once the fifo and the frame rate go above zero you know you're going to get close to actually the game launching so just be patient so the fifa has gone up and the frame rate will be going up momentarily frame rate's gone up you'll hear some sound in a second some game sound again it's just because you know i'm recording at the same time the screen so you can see it in the tutorial there we go you might think nothing's appearing so for me i have to click docked and turn into handheld mode i'm going to lower the volume so you can hear me and there we go we have the game launching so if i change the aspect ratio as you can see most of them don't work with this particular game so that's just something to bear in mind so just bear that in mind when you start you know messing around with ratios and whatnot try handheld and docked mode as well so you know i just went into the game as you can see and i can navigate around it like so but that's it 
if you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. It's not that you know complex to set this up, but you know if you have any questions, feel free to hit me and the community up on the Discord group, which there'll be a link in the description. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.